Okay guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to be using this Korean solomtang, also known as oxbon soup, to make for you a delicious Korean foreign fusion dish. And we have three friends from all over the world who will be putting their national, their, their, their thoughts about their national cuisine into this Korean soup to make the ultimate delicious soup to eat whenever you feel cold in winter or whenever you uh, feel a little bit down after a night of heavy drinking. So, let's get started. Hi, Hi everyone, my name is Olga. I'm coming from a small country in Eastern Europe, Republic of Moldova. And I'm in Korea for four years. I was studying here, I did my master's degree. I graduated two semesters ago, so a long time. And today, me and my friends, uh, my friends and I, <laughs> we're gonna cook something very delicious. So, I hope you'll enjoy it. Yeah, thank you, Olga. Uh, <laughs> so my name is Tymon. I'm from the Netherlands, uh, from a small village called Boxel. And I've been in Korea now for three years, almost three and a half. And uh, <laughs> uh, I actually came to Korea for my master's degree. Uh, my master's degree is in North Korean studies. I'm very interested in North Korea. Uh, and South Korea as well, of course. That's why I'm here <laughs> today. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to be cooking today, but I'm going to be assisting my friends over here with their respective dishes. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, Absolutasos here. I'm coming from Greece and Czech Republic. I've been in Korea for the past nine years and I enjoy my time very much. <laughs> <laughs> I will be today here with my friends and we are going to cook some solotan but using our own country's ingredients and ideas and to give you some ideas for something magical. <laughs> uh, I hope you join me in my parties here in Korea as well so we can always can have online and offline. Let's have fun! <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Marcela. I'm from Chile. I have been here in Korea for one year and a half. I came here with work and holiday visa, that is just one year, but you know, for all the corona situation, I'm extending my visa two months and two months and two months. So I hope that I can be here like more time. So yeah, let's have fun. Hi everyone, um, today I'm gonna transform this amazing soup, Korean soup, in a traditional Moldavian or Romanian soup, which is called Chorba de Pechare. And for that, it's very easy, it's a very easy ingredient. For that, we'll need only uh, onion and uh, carrots. Um, also, the most important ingredient there are the, actually, are the uh, meatballs, which we're gonna add into the soup. So, let's try to prepare something tasty for my friends. I hope they'll enjoy it. Fine. Okay, that's good. Um, we'll add some olive oil to, I think I'm doing this too. But anyway, um, I'm adding some olive oil to have the soup be more like, more um, to look good, <laughs> to look a bit tastier. Olive oil is always good. My uh, good friend <laughs> will agree with me. We have to cut the onion. Um, and you'll ask yourself why potatoes in a Korean soup. 
well, since we're making this mixing tradi traditions soup, mixed tradition soup, uh, back home in Eastern Europe, we used to eat a lot of potatoes. So we have potatoes for breakfast, we have potatoes for lunch, and we have potatoes for dinner in different ways. We cook them in different ways. So we have mashed potatoes and uh, we have fried potatoes, boiled potatoes, So weird, but the interesting thing is that they are boiling this bones, bones for like 10 hours, two or three times changing the water, so the soup becomes really white and very like clear and nice. And um, yeah, I think we can add here the soup now. So I think you can see how white it is. very sour but yes okay it's good I love it sour so I'll put a little bit more are you talking about me there <laughs> okay let's see great and we can add a little bit of parsley here so we have to taste but you can leave a little bit so you can add when you are almost done when you're putting this on the okay. here we go oh my god this looks so good this looks so good okay we close it we make the fire a bit lower let them there for a few more minutes and then we turn off the fire and we keep it for a few more minutes longer and then we can serve it it's going to be so tasty and if you want you can add one teaspoon of uh, sour cream and it will also give this white color. Um, yeah, so enjoy it. I hope you'll like it. Hi guys, here's Marcela again. So now it's my turn to cook. I will make this solenta again, like Olga made it. But this version is like Chilean version. I will use some oil, olive oil too. Usually in Chile we use any oil, but the people say that this one is better. <laughs> so I will use this one. Uh, in Chile we are always trying to cook with uh, alcohol. We put some uh, wine to the chicken or some beer to the soup. Always to the, for example, we have barbecues and we always use like a beer for make it more soft and delicious. Oh, this smells really good. I like to cook with the black beer always because I think that is, is better than the other one, the lighter one. 
So now is the moment that you put the salt, but the beer is already salty, so I, I, I won't put. And this is my secret ingredient. We always, in Chile, we always put pumpkin in our soups. Yeah, so now we need just to wait. I think that five minutes, five minutes, six minutes will be okay. So I will check how is the pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin, the pumpkin is ready. And what about the carrots? Usually in Chile we, we don't use this kind of corn, we use the other one that is like the big one, the big one that you cut like in a slice and you put it inside uh, at the beginning of the soup. So then the corn have all the flavor of the soup. But I this time I will, I will use this one. Simon, can you help me? <laughs> I don't know, if we, I think that we have in Chile already like this one, but here is more, it's more sweet than Chile. So now, are we, I will use the Solion tank soup. The good of the pumpkin is that we'll make the soup like orange and sweet. So it will be perfect, because I want to put some Actually, I bought this <laughs> that I was thinking that was spicy, but it's not, so it's just for the color. And then I will add this one that is spicy. And it's really good because the spicy is just in your mouth and it's not burning your... So I will let it there, take two minutes. Usually we don't add the, the spicy things to the soup already, uh, I mean, when are you cooking, when you are cooking, we add it after when the soup is in the plate. So I will wait for that moment. So, vacuum. <laughs> Now it's the moment that you add the spicy things. Not too much, because this is really spicy. I think that is really good because I made it. <laughs> so thank you guys. <laughs>